Let's make some vanilla cupcakes. Don't forget to like this video and follow for more. We we'll need caster sugar. You can even use white sugar. It's not a problem. We we'll need milk. We we'll need cake flour. Mother Sprite is the best. We we'll need four eggs. And we we'll need nice soft uh, butter. We we'll use buttercup. 250 grams of buttercup. And two tablespoons vanilla essence is a full tablespoon of baking powder. We'll sieve our flour and baking powder together in a dish and put it aside. Those are our measuring cups. You can get those measuring cups in baking shops or Chinese shops. So we'll beat our eggs for about two minutes with a mixer. Then we'll add two cups of caster sugar and we'll mix it together with a mixer. Caster sugar or white sugar. Then you mix it together until it's white and creamy like that. You can see how it has become. You cannot do this without a mixer. So make sure you get a mixer. Then we'll add two tablespoons of vanilla essence and continue mixing. Don't forget to like this video and follow and comment below on the town you are watching from so that I can make a follow up on you. Yeah, you mix your wet ingredients. Then when we're done mixing our wet ingredients, we'll add our 250 grams of soft butter. Make sure your butter is soft, not butter in your course. I am freeze. It's night. It's frozen. No, make sure your butter is soft. Remove it a few hours before you start even baking. So mix, mix, mix. Don't forget to like and follow for more. Mix, 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 mix. Then you add two cups of milk into one cup using our measuring cup. So we'll pour one cup. And then we'll pour another cup of milk. So we're just measuring it in advance into one cup cup so these measuring cups are very important you cannot bake without measuring cups so you pour it in one cup don't forget to like and follow and mention the town you are watching from so we'll add our flour bit by bit into our mixture Put a bit of flour, a bit of milk, then you mix a bit of flour, a bit of milk, a bit of flour, a bit of milk, a bit of flour, a bit of milk. Then we'll continue mixing until everything has been fully combined. Don't forget to like this video and share with your family and friends. And this is how the mixture is looking like white, nice and creamy. So if you want physical lessons, WhatsApp me on the number on the screen. And we also need these cupcake cups. They are found in Chinese shops or baking shops. You just put them in your trays there. You don't need to put any butter down or anything. Just put them directly on the trays. It's just direct. You don't need to put any cooking oil, any what. You just put them directly there. And when you are done putting them, you put your mixture with a spoon or a scoop. And when you are putting your mixture in these uh, cupcake cups, make sure they are halfway, not tea, they are full. Because if you make them full, your cupcakes will rise beyond. So you just need to put them halfway and then as they are baking, they will rise. So just make sure you put halfway in each cup. And then you need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees on both sides. So if your oven has both sides, you set it on both sides. If, it has, if it's written bake, grill, what, set it on bake. 180 degrees, degrees <laughs> for about 30 to 25 minutes. So you can see I've put them in the oven and my down part of my oven there is already heated up. And I'll close without disturbing. Then after 25, 30 minutes, you can see how nice and flat they've become. This is the outcome of the vanilla cake, cupcake See, So you can even see they're nice and soft inside. My little sister here was holding them so that you can see properly. They're nice and soft and smelling very, 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 very nice. Don't forget to like, follow, and share. And WhatsApp me on the number on the screen if you want physical lessons. Comment with the town you're coming from. So with for the cream, we'll use Fino Whip. It's found in baking shops. I'm not sure about ShopRite and other places, but it's mostly found in baking shops. So we'll add two cups of Fino Whip into a bowl with our measuring cups. Remember, these measuring cups are very, very, very important. You need to have measuring cups in your kitchen, especially when you are baking. 
so that's one cup it's even written there i don't know if you can see so we'll put two cups of fino into our bowl so when you put two cups of fino in our bowl we'll also put two cups of what of milk you can either use water or milk but milk is the best milk is the best you won't go wrong with using milk so when you put those two mixtures in the bowl you're going to mix them with a mixer for about 20 to 15 minutes until the mixture is nice and thick so if you have any questions leave them in the comment section don't forget to like this video if you haven't liked don't forget to follow if you're watching it on youtube subscribe follow like share do everything you can share download the video share with a friend so you mix them with the mixer and when we're done mixing it will be very thick so this is our an m1 nozzle it's what's used to cream uh, cupcakes you can also find it in baking shops or chinese shops mostly baking shops so when you get your nozzle we also need a disposable piping bag so you can also find these in baking shops as well so that nozzle will go inside the piping bag <laughs> my sister was disturbing me <laughs> So the nozzle go inside the piping bag when the nozzle goes inside the piping bag we put the cream inside the piping bag and make sure it has reached collapsed collapsed and again don't overfill your piping bag just put enough cream inside just enough and make sure it reaches the end so you can see i've put my cream and it has reached the end and i haven't yet cut out the top part there you can see the way it's looking the cream is nice balanced and the nozzle is seated last last and i'm holding it from the back so what I'm, what I'm going to do is cut at the end where the teeth for the nozzle are starting from. That's where I'll cut from so that the cream can be coming out nicely. You can see here and you hold it like that. Then you finally put them on the cupcakes. So when you're putting them on the cupcakes, make sure you squeeze them as you are moving. Just go around. You squeeze nicely around. You squeeze round nicely as you are moving. You are squeezing. You are moving. You are squeezing. You are moving. You are what? You are squeezing. So these are the cupcakes that have been made. You can see how nice they are looking now. Nice white and creamy. So they don't have sprinkles. They are finished. So yeah, don't forget to like, follow, share, mention your friends, and comment with the town you are watching from. These are the delicious cupcakes that we've made. Like, share, follow. WhatsApp me on the number on the screen. Bye.